Hey you, you got naysayers in your life? Guess what, you're not alone. Before I talk about this, I wanna make this video because guess what, as you all know, I got a haircut. I didn't cut my hair for about six months, and so now it's been a week now that I cut it, and still everyone in my gym is telling me, oh, how come you cut your hair? What happened? You know, hey, guess what? I know you wanted my hair long, but you know what? I had to do it, it was time, and I wanna do what's best for me. But we're not here to talk about my hair, we're here to talk about what you wanna do, what's best for you, and the naysayers. Cause you know what? We all have them, right? We all have that negative person or negative people, a few people, that, you know, they're just the naysayers, the, the Debbie Downers, the vampires, because you know what? They just suck all the blood out of you. They suck the best out of you. And you know, every time you want to do something good for yourself, oh, don't do that. They start giving you shit, you know? You, you, you get on a diet, you start working out, oh, come on, one bite, let's go have one beer, one pizza. Nothing's gonna happen. Oh, come on, you're on a diet? Give me a break. We all have them, right? Whether it's fitness, whether it's nutrition, whether it's in your relationships, in your business, whatever it is, there's always gonna be people telling you not to do it. And you know what? Guess what? Screw them. Because it's your life, it's your dreams, and whether they like it or not, you have to do what you want. You have to follow your heart, follow your instincts, okay? So I want you to have the best life that you want, the best body that you, that you want, okay? So here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to deal with these people, with the naysayers, but before that, let me tell you a little something. If you listen to them, if you listen to the naysayers, you fail. Think about that again. Let me say it again. If you listen to the naysayers, you fail. Because no matter how bad you want this, no matter how bad you want your goal, whatever your goal may be, if you are feeding your mind constantly with, with this negativity and these people telling you you can't do it, you know, don't do it because of this, don't do it because of that, hey, guess what? Your subconscious mind is the most powerful thing in the world. And your body, it controls that you, 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 you keep breathing without thinking about it. Your heart keeps beating without you thinking about it. It controls all your decisions. It's about 90%. Of, of what you do and what you think is your subconscious mind. So you have to really be careful how you handle that and who you hang out with. Because we've all heard it. And you know, who you hang out with is who you become. So if you hang out with losers, guess what? That's the best way to become a loser. You want to become a winner? Hang out with winners, with people who are living that life, who are playing that, the game at that level, okay? So, and you got to be ready. Because you know, if, you, if you're going through some hard times, those naysayers, oh, they don't quit, they don't disappear, they're gonna tell you, I told you, I told you it was not gonna work. I told you it was not gonna work, and you were gonna fail, and you were gonna waste your time, your money, your energy, right? I'm sure you've heard that. I've heard it a million times. Listen, if I listened to what people told me years ago, I wouldn't be here running this transformation center, and I wouldn't be here making this video trying to help you live the life that you want, you know? Because, you know, they've all told me, when I wanted to become a coach, Oh, everybody was telling me, you can't do that, you're gonna fail, it's not gonna work out, you need to be a doctor, you need to be a cop, you need to be a, uh, an engineer, whatever it is. But you know what, the moment I stop listening and the moment I start following in my heart is the day that I started to live and the day that I felt in peace with myself. And I want you to do the same because it's your life, again, like I said, it's your life, your dreams, your goals, not them. Let them do it and if they can't do it, screw them. They wanna tell you you can't because they haven't done it themselves, because they can't themselves. So they wanna hold you down here with them so you don't make them comfortable by becoming better, by going to, going to the next level, okay? But again, if you listen, you fail. So if the people around you, if your friends, your coworkers, whatever it is, they're not supporting you in becoming the best that you can be, guess what? You are wasting your time hanging out with them. They should not even be in your life. You know what I do? You know what I've done, what I did in my past to change my life, to turn it all around? And that's what I want you to do. This is how you're gonna deal with the naysayers, okay? I want you to go to that nays naysayer, that vampire, that Debbie Downer, and I want you to grab him, look him in the eyes, and bam, kick him to the curb. It's your life, your dreams, go make it happen. Now before you go, please, 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 like, comment, and share so that this video can reach out to more people and they can live a better life, all right? Tough luck.